Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing another timeless reading for you today. So I have some channeled messages. I've been channeling these messages for a few days now and we're going to also pull some cards along the way. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, you know all that bullshit. Make sure to do that. <laughs> um, you can also check out my links down below for readings or my tarot course if you also want to check that out. And also, lastly, if it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't. Go ahead and check out other readings on my channel. Most of them are timeless, so there might be a different one out there for you. Maybe this one just isn't for you. So I have prepared sort of like a little bit of a checkpoint <laughs> section where you can listen to this reading and then f or, f or listen to this part of the reading and then from there determine if it's for you. If you can't get through this, it's not for you. So let's go ahead and get through the checkpoint. So I was channeling this energy of broad ideas, big broad dreams, and just having to sort of figure out how to get there, that being one struggle. Another one was that you are now maybe having to be more social or having to um, just be more, give a lot more energy to other people. And you may have been a solo, like, you know lone wolf for a while now so that might be a hard transition um, and I was also feeling like all the life major life pillars are upgrading so this is the first house house of self seventh house house of relationships fourth house like house of home and tenth house house of career those are the four main pillars of life and those are getting an upgrade here um, and I was channeling this because I was really feeling like cardinal sign energy aries libra cancer capricorn you don't have to be those signs uh to receive this message but you know um you could just be maybe really feeling that energy like aries energy that pioneering energy libra energy wanting to balance things balance things out um cancer energy like nurturing yourself capricorn energy working hard uh this energy of, of initiation as well going for what you want be ready to spark something new if you're itching for like change then this reading is for you <laughs> okay so one channeled message i got was that you need to know who the heck you are <laughs> you need to know who the heck you are okay because knowing who you are will allow less interference less people projecting bs onto you and you know i think that you have since you have spent a lot of time in hermit mode a lot of time alone you've done a lot of healing and you can trust yourself you could trust your inner voice now you've really worked on that um internal part of you and you can trust it and um i think that there's this ability to reach like a new level of self-love and self-understanding there's a new level of like just having your own back harder than ever before there's just like no more doubting yourself, no more rejecting yourself, no more blind spots. And if you're still feeling any of that energy, like it's currently unfolding and it might unfold over the next few months as we have these new moons in Aries coming up. And if, you know, this is a timeless reading, so if you're listening to this in the future, I invite you to reflect on what was going on March 2023 April 2023 something could be coming full circle there um so another thing I was feeling and why I was getting a lot of Capricorn energy coming through was responsibility discipline growing up patience during this this time frame right now we are having Saturn moves into the sign of Pisces so these things of responsibility and discipline and Saturn ruled things are getting a new type of flavor in our lives. So that's kind of on everybody's mind. And with that, I feel like there's people who are getting control freaky about it because they don't trust the change. And I feel like that could be people in this energy <laughs> right now. So try not to be too control freaky. We really got to let go. We got to understand things are changing and we might not be 100% sure of the future and that is oh freaking k you know and that's coming from me a, a, a tarot reader on youtube tarot readers are always talking about the future and yada yada and it's like that's fun and i think that's good just so you can like give yourself a little bit a little sense of peace but then we gotta get back into the present moment and you gotta find 
what works for you how do you get back into the present moment is it like an through an art form is it just like for me like if I have am having a hard time like getting to the present moment no matter how hard I meditate no matter how much I throw myself in art forms you know what I'll do I'll just lift something really fucking heavy like I'll go grab a weight from my man's gym and I will just hold that until I can't hold it anymore and that that'll put you in your body like that will just make you feel like grounded after so that's something you could try um but yeah we do kind of have to like trust the changes and just be a little bit more flexible be a little bit more go with the flow as much as we can um i think that the other side of this too is that people can feel like oh i just want to get the changes over with and that's where i'm feeling the inner aries energy coming in where it's just impulsive and it's like the thing is yes t- times are changing and we need to trust the changes and the winds and the waves of life or whatever but it's chaotic (laughs) it's still chaotic and people are chaotic and we need to have discernment and that's why it's important to you to be grounded and rooted in yourself and to know yourself and to trust yourself so that way you can make the best decisions for yourself even in a time where everyone else is chaotic in a time where everyone else is being chaotic don't be the chaotic one you know be be calm be rooted it's kind of like this energy the image i'm getting is like someone caught up in a wave and like being grounded in that moment is not like the same as a plant being rooted in the soil being grounded in that moment is just having a fucking surfboard right to hold on to and ride and float with that is as much grounding as it's gonna get and we're kind of in that vibe like have something that can you can hold on to that keeps you afloat let it don't let it be another person let it be something that is you and for you something that makes you freaking happy, something that that brings you peace, something that brings you grounding, find that and cling on to it, you know, it could be a friend, you know, um, I, I think it'd be a friend if it is a partner and it's a healthy relationship, that's fine too, it could be family too as well, I know I said don't make it another person, but that's because I get worried that people place too much of that, um, too much, like, pressure responsibility on other people to make them happy and that is not the case here remember we're channeling you know aries energy as well with this reading and that is about your independence okay and your own rulership over your own life and taking control of that and being responsible with that as well so going back to my point of impulses i do think it's important to realize how certain impulses can create really big karmic bonds like impulsively getting into a relationship and now you're like bonded with that person for years and years and years based on an impulse like let's let's ride our impulses out and then make a decision later like get tell yourself you need more time tell other people you need more time tell your tell other people you want to think on it you want to sleep on it you want to take a walk that i think is really important right now um also i'm picking up on this energy of like throat chakra that needing grounding that needing work maybe we're having trouble with speech and maybe we're not communicating right um i think that could have to i think that could be tied to just self-doubt in a way um but i think we do just want to work on speech here practice just communicating in a stronger manner too with more authority no like saying oh i'm sorry like oh no that's my bad like oh no i'm so like no more of that i think that if you are you know a magical if you are into this if you are into the you know magical arts speech is a huge deal speech is a huge deal it's everything words are spells the things you say to yourself manifest the 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 way we are holding ourselves and presenting ourselves when we speak just can affect how people respond and thus affect like the narrative and the storyline and i think it's important for you to be aware of that and make that strong and you know that's gonna take practice right we're easing out of the hermit mode back into social life I'm feeling cancer energy here with the like oh i'm sorry oh like no that's my that's so cancer energy i'm a cancer i would fucking know <laughs> but yeah you gotta you gotta stop doing that <laughs> also i think it's important to like 
not spend too much energy like don't spend more energy than you have to don't go above and beyond you don't have to i think that you have a level of like self-respect or no you have a level of respect from other people that you don't even know you have you have a level of like love from people that you don't even know you have and admiration and like you don't have to prove things that's my point like if you want to go above and beyond to get that a plus like go for it but you don't have to prove that you're smart and that shouldn't be the reason that you do it you know yeah and one thing that is important going back to that analogy of like the waves and like clinging on to your surfboard as you know the waves are taking you left and right you know that indicates to me that people can feel a little lost like people can feel neither here nor there people might feel like they're not themselves um they can feel like it's just tower moment and change after change and that is just an easy way to feel fucking lost and to like lose part of yourself without even realizing and i think it's I'm just channeling this energy a little bit. Like in that moment, you know, I one word that comes through is pray. Just pray. Ask for like a sign to follow. Like, hey, I want to find like, you know, solid found solid foundation again. I want to make things more solid in my life. Like, show me owls along the way. Like, spirit, show me I was on the way so I know I'm at the right time or at the right place at the right time. I know I'm at the right job interview. I know I'm at the right, you know, whatever. And don't be too over-reliant on that. You have to remember this is also a time to trust your gut. And I think as you are experiencing these shifts and these changes, I think you are going to see where you maybe weren't the most secure in yourself and in life and i think this is an opportune time to make note of that and make some important changes right make some important changes and start adding in that security little by little say these are learning lessons and they're and learning you know lessons aren't always fun and easy and love and light sometimes they fucking suck like (laughs) and it is what it is like adulting sucks Uh, we can all agree (laughs) um but you'll make it through okay you're gonna make it through and each time i think you prove to yourself more and more that you have your own back and you get more secure within yourself and you feel more powerful and strong and independent as you you know make these parts of your life that weren't secure more secure you know and i think there is this energy too of remembering yourself something coming back to you whether whether it's like a a spark for life your a sense of passion a sense of creativity um a sense of play a sense of fun just feeling whatever it is that makes you feel like yourself and feel happy i do feel like that's returning i feel like it's it's been gone for a while we haven't had a lot of spark in us we haven't had a lot enough fire and i think that's important to to do is spark yourself like how can you empower yourself how can you feel motivated how can you feel excited like the only way to do that is to add more of that in you know that's it you just need to add more of that in slowly little by little in any way that you can add more of that in and you can work with fire magic like you can light a candle and just meditate on the flame you can light a candle and do some journaling and write some stuff and then if you want to like release anything you can like burn it in the flame you know do that outside be safe with it don't burn your house down (laughs) um you can there's so much you can do but i think yeah oh hot baths love hot baths for just like getting that chi just like lit up and sparked you know and or like saunas if you have it at your gym or whatever or if you have access to that um you can do that really great ways to just heat yourself up and feel fueled and feel sparked again just feel get the blood flowing too if you've been feeling really really cold this is your sign that like your cheese i think burning out 
um, interesting energy. I'm channeling Mars and Cancer, which is coming up this month too, I believe. It is the 25th. And I have a video about March and March astrology on my channel if you want to watch that. But I'm channeling the Mars and Cancer energy there. And um, one thing I'm getting is like past energy stored in your body like sweat that out you know like run that out release that in some kind of way um also carrying like the worries of your ancestors that came through having to cut that out having to purge that out um a good grounding technique that um you can try it's like breath work um, listening to root chakra music while you're grounding, um, imagining yourself like being a tree and being rooted into the earth. There's so many like different grounding techniques out there and I would, I think it's an opportune time to do research on that and try to figure out which one would work best for you. So that way if you're feeling ungrounded, if you're feeling like, oof, like I'm like, you know, falling into the chaos you know you got your grounding technique to at least bring you back for a second. And one thing I'm feeling here was like a little bit of like lack of trust for like people or like lack of trust for maybe like a path for yourself. And I think you should maybe just ask like spirit for a sign to show you that you can trust it. Um, and I think that'll come through i am just feeling like a trust issue coming in that is like not necessary and that i think is it's kind of just blocking you from like a new adventure like we're not trusting it and and yeah so ask spirit for a sign to show you that you can trust it let me go ahead and pull a card now i haven't pulled a card this whole time but i think it would be really fun I think I want to pull the herbal astrology oracle and this one's fun because it shows you like a plant and in certain in in most practices people like to look at um herbs as something that can teach you a lesson they're teachers they're not like something to abuse you know what I mean so let's say you want to use an herb and you want to put it into like hibiscus hibiscus is a really great herb for unlocking intuition and it can be used for many different things like for love for beauty it's just hyper feminine beautiful energy um you know you you are using the energy and the themes of that plant to teach you lessons you're not using it so that way you can feed a selfish like thing in you you know to be beautiful or whatever that's not how this works um so yeah i just always like to m kind of make sure people know that before i pull cards on it cards before i pull cards using this deck okay let me pin my mic on so you might hear a little bit of a change in sound let's give these cards a shuffle and this card would have been up and edited onto the screen like the whole time so that way you can see it okay what card what message do we have oh okay we have the energy of the beloved and i actually pulled this card for aries maybe i'm not sure when it was february january within the past um few months so yeah i pulled this card for aries so again confirmation there um of the aries energy and this card is a card a uh, card of venus so we're working with venus things here and upright this represents magnetism attraction kindred spirits soulmates relationships intimacy sacred play and finding the beloved within so i think that there are a lot of karmic connections ending for you and they have been ending for probably like the past few years 
um i feel like the last four years is the energy i'm getting and i think it's time that you know you spent that time alone and now you're like rebuilding and attracting in new ones and i like that energy of like kindred spirit something about this seems kinder i feel like the last batch of like karmic people were like hard lessons like they came with hard lessons and now this one comes with like a much more benefic energy and reversed this if this is functioning in a more shadow side this is going to mass manifest as lack of love feeling unloved feeling separate from everybody feeling um unavailable uninterested unsatisfied rigidity or just lusting for people with no love and this card i'm going to read you um the guidance part of this uh card it says Damiana represents the universal principle of the beloved within relationships and within ourselves. The alchemy of polarity is what we're made of, and this integration of opposites is that which births the beloved. The card represents the journey of coming together and reuniting within oneself, a lover, friend, family member, or any important person in your life. So this is interesting because I can back this up with some human design. Um... In he one of the beliefs in human design is that we our world is kind of like a bi universe there's always like a mirroring image so we have the yin and it's mirrored with yang right and that is the spectrum right there and we have the rainbow in between and we have all these different options in between but at the end of each it's just yin that's how far this it goes it's just yang that's how far this it goes very interesting and how that principle is in is true within a lot of our reality and our universe and how it works so that is kind of interesting and so you could be just seeing that more of how things are there could be a whole spectrum of things but at the end of the day it's this or that at the end of the day it's yin or yang you know Okay, um, this card says you are in an important period of making choices and establishing healthy boundaries, especially with those you'd like to deepen and expand or those that you feel the need to shed or distance yourself from. So boundaries, all right, whether it's to get closer with people or further from people, honor your boundaries. So Damiana reminds us of the importance of shaking off rigid rigidity that often depletes creative reserves and sacred play so really allowing that playtime is sacred fun time is sacred because it puts you in this place where i think you're a bit more happy you're a bit more free and i think you don't always let yourself have fun you don't always let yourself play you're always having you're always like you're like a worker bee always working for something but us humans are not made for that it's okay to have a day where you want to do nothing. It's okay to have a day where you want to just relax. It's okay to have a day where you want to nap all dang day. Like, let yourself have those days. Especially if you're someone who has periods, okay? Because of that cycle, learn about it, right? We don't always have energy, you know, to, to our energy fluctuates throughout the month, throughout the month. So there are high points and low points throughout the month. So look into, um understanding i think your your menstrual cycle a little bit more if you have one it says if you feel unsatisfied and emotionally unavailable even to those whom you love take the time to be in solitude and nourish your creative centers i like that nourish your creative energy the creative centers within you nourish them nourish them nourish them because that's how new things are going to come up out of you new experiences new goals new jobs new people whatever it says, often separation becomes a bias to reunite once again in a higher frequency. True self-love is the key to lasting relationships with others and most importantly with yourself. So I like this. It's confirmation that if, you know, we are calling in, you know, new friends, new lovers, new, new co-workers, a new community, a new whatever, a new tribe, like it's meant to be long lasting and so learn lessons that you need to learn in order to uh, create those long lasting relationships which i think you've already learned when 
Pluto was in Capricorn and it's wrapping up its time in Capricorn. It's moving on to Aquarius. And so that is already there. Going to be a shift in people around you. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the new people that you're going to attract in. Be patient. Know they're going to come at the right time. Don't be too caught up on it either. I feel like some of you are feeling lonely. The energy just got really lonely. And hold on, let me take my mic off. And yeah, I just want this to be a confirmation for you that this loneliness will pass. Okay, this loneliness will pass. And if you aren't lonely and you're just wanting some fire, you're gonna, you know, those those people are gonna come in. I'm excited. Who the the people that come in feel like fire signs, and they feel like they are the spark that you have been wanting. And I'm feeling like they spark up more fun, or they spark up um, a better sense of self. They t teach you how to be secure within yourself. They model that for you. Or they spark up um, something. Maybe healthy competition in a workplace that makes you work harder. Could be something like that. Um, but I like it. Whatever it is that you need, it's coming. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this message. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was so much fun. I love doing timeless readings for you guys. Um... And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Comment down below and let me know because sometimes I don't, I, I feel like, you know, I'm new to YouTube still and so I'm just trying to figure out like what content's going to stick and what content is just not going to stick. So we will see. Um, but yeah, love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.